Hello and welcome to Social Church. We're really excited to be recording the testimony of Lucy Grimble today. Lucy, as many of you will know, is a talented songwriter and worship leader and will be performing at this year's Creation Fest in Cornwall. Please check out the link below for all the information on that. I can't wait to hear this. Over to you, Lucy. Hi, this is Lucy Grimble, and this is my testimony of how I came to faith. Um, So I grew up in a very loving family. Um, Both my parents are Christians, and both of them have been really, really solid in their faith um, since they were teenagers as well. So I definitely grew up around um, Christianity. I grew up going to church with my family, with my um, with good friends um, and learning, I guess, about the Christian faith. Um, my dad would read us the Bible every night and we'd pray together as a family. So I can, all my childhood memories are sort of um, very much rooted in an understanding and awareness of the Christian faith. Um, but I think I, I reached a point when I was about 16 where I realized that faith isn't something that you just inherit from your parents. It's not like just inheriting genes from your parents or inheriting characteristics from your parents. It's actually a decision you have to make for yourself. And I think I just reached a point in my teens where I became increasingly uncomfortable with the fact that I was going to church every week and, you know, having a great time and it almost being like a social club where I'd hang out with my friends, but not having really made the decision for myself. Um, I could really feel like a prodding at my heart. So I would, I would say it like that, that, you know, God was sort of saying to me, um, you know, do you choose me or are you just sort of part of a, a cultural club? Um, so I reached the point when I was 16 where um, I sort of weighed everything up and I I came to the point where I was like, I do actually want this. I want this for myself. I want to know the God that I've been learning about my whole childhood um, I want to know him personally and for myself, like in, independent of my family, independent of my friends at church. So I'd say I really came to faith when I was 16. And um, since then, it's just been this journey of growing deeper and deeper in faith with Jesus and, and what I read in the Bible becoming more and more real and more and more true to me. Um, you know, in, in many ways, I don't have like a dramatic testimony of you know, having like life crisis or a really traumatic upbringing and sort of coming to God from a point of view of, you know, I really, really need this. In many ways, I didn't really need God in inverted commas because I had, you know, a stable upbringing, um, you know, a very safe upbringing, a very loving upbringing. So I kind of had in one respect, like all the things that you could ever wish for in life. Um, But what I didn't have was this sort of I guess the you know C.S. Lewis talks about this God-shaped hole inside all of us. Um, I didn't have that sense of peace and that sense of I know I know where my life is going. I know what my eternal purpose is. I know um, I know kind of God. I know a higher being, and I think that's what I when I was making that choice to actually come to faith and I made the choice to follow Jesus, that's really what I was responding to and saying, you know, even though I've got all this great stuff in my life, I know I'm still missing something and I and I know that that thing is Jesus. Um, so sort of post that, um, I went off to university and um, I'd say that was like a real time of my faith getting tested because for the first time I was encountering all of these sort of schools of thought and um, ideologies I'd never encountered before, um, things like postmodernism, um, which talks about, you know, meaning is subjective and, you know, what really means anything is, is up to you as an individual. Um, so kind of basically directly, um, you know, counter to the claims of the gospel, I guess, the claims of Jesus. Um, I, th- I think I remember at university being really shaken and really challenged um, in my faith. And thinking, oh my gosh, am I am I just a product of my upbringing? Am I just a product of my family? You know, am I just in this religion, in this faith because um, I've kind of been brainwashed? Um, I, I think I went like on a really deep existential journey um, of actually questioning and doubting and um, looking again at the claims of, of Jesus and the claims of the Bible and. Um, 
you know, I'm, I'm really happy to say I kind of came through those years and um, it almost felt like it was, as much as it tested my faith, it also made it so much stronger because I'm the kind of person that I want to know that what I'm believing is really, really real. Like you want that like gut feeling of like, no, I know that I know that I know that this is true. And, and I think through that process, through the doubting, which I actually think is, is really healthy, um, it's like a really healthy part of faith, you know, like actually working through your doubts and bringing those doubts before God and saying, I don't understand this, this doesn't make sense to me, um, this is confusing, this seems to be opposite to what I want to believe. Um, I feel like that's a really essential part of faith, but through that process, I actually feel like it made me want to know God even more. Um, and then I graduated from university and went straight into the world of work. Um, and alongside that, um, all the while I've been writing songs and um, and making music um, and writing songs that sort of, I guess, songs that are rooted in faith, that talk about faith, that talk about a relationship with God. Um, and in a, in a funny way, I actually feel like songwriting has been one of the primary ways that God actually speaks to me and that I have got stronger in my own faith with God because again it's created this whole um sort of world where I I get to you know live out my faith I get to um journey ideas and um through sort of the creativity of songwriting I get to um like go deeper in in my faith um so I think that that's been like just such a gift from God I always I always think songwriting is such a gift um you know I've personally found it such a gift because it's helped me to um just really experience God um in like a really joyful and um creative way um which sort of brings me to present day where I'm I'm doing that full time um and I'm out there in sort of in different churches in different platforms um on the radio um you know doing events and I'm actually getting to share my faith with other people which is my absolute number one passion and love because I think what I have found in the Christian faith is such meaning and such purpose and such um peace and joy like all the claims of the gospels all of the claims of jesus are found to be true that he really is life he really is like john 10 10 talks about jesus came to give well jesus says i I came to bring you life and life more abundantly and i can honestly say like my my walk with jesus is my most treasured thing in this world like i have found life in him that I've never experienced anywhere else. I've found joy in him that I've never experienced anywhere else. So it's such a privilege to now be at the point where I I get to share my faith with other people and I get to, um, I, ju- I guess I get to just share what my faith has meant to me and what Jesus offers us um, as a way for other people to, you know, consider that or to grow deeper in their own faith. So I would just encourage you, if you are, listening to this if you're on a journey with faith if you're considering um you know whether what the bible says and what jesus says is true i would just hand on heart you know i'm just one person in the whole wide world but i have honestly been changed by my relationship with jesus and i have found something that i don't think anything else in this this world could ever offer so i would just encourage you to check out um to, to start reading the Bible and um, John the Gospel of John is such a great place to start um, or to maybe go along to an alpha course I've, I've done um, an alpha course in the past and I found it such a beautiful format to just talk in a very non-threatening environment um, and to have very honest conversations around a dinner table about um, what faith is and, and what um, what Jesus um, offers us um, so yeah I would fully encourage you to go on that spiritual quest go on that spiritual journey um, and to um, yeah and I, I pray that you know I bless you on that journey and I, I really hope that you find the answers that you are looking for Lucy thank you so much that's really encouraging if you would like to record your testimony and have it on social church we'd love to hear from you you can get in contact with us via our website 
www.wearesocialchurch.com or contact us on any of our social media platforms. Thanks a lot for listening today. Bye for now.